Hello, I'm Kara Larson. And I'm Mike Brooks with the top stories that are trending today online and on social media. We begin with the latest on the coronavirus here in Oklahoma after the Tulsa Health Department confirms another person tested positive in Tulsa County. Now the new case is a woman in her 20s. She recently traveled to Italy. She's now here in Tulsa County. Health officials say that the cases though are not related. They also say there's no evidence of community spread of the virus and the risk to the public remains low. Well, today, 3,500 passengers on the Grand Princess cruise ship uh, evacuate. 26 of those evacuees are Oklahomans. The ship is docked in San Francisco. Oklahoma Department of Health says the passengers will be screened once they get off the ship. Those with symptoms will be isolated. 21 people on board have been test have tested positive for the coronavirus. It's important to remember that the flu is still in full swing and hitting Oklahoma hard. 53 people have died from the flu in our state, 10 in Tulsa County. The CDC says at least 34 million people have been diagnosed with the flu in the U.S. 20,000 have died, including 136 children. Doctors are still urging everyone, if you haven't gotten one yet, get your flu shot. We are tracking the chance for a few storms early on our Wednesday morning, especially from Grand Lake to Pryor by 7 a.m. Those showers and storms will begin to push east. Temperatures warm back in the 70s for highs for your upcoming Wednesday, near 80 for Thursday, 50s for Friday, 50s for Saturday and Sunday, 60s for much of next week with very uh, wet conditions likely for off and on for Monday through Friday of next week. Thank you for turning to us for your local news and weather. We'll bring you another Trending Today update here around 1030.